Hi all. Today we are discussing scaling in heat transfer. So heat transmission in microsystem is in the modes of conduction and convention. So uh, what do you mean by conduction? Conduction is heat conduction is also called heat diffusion. Is the direct microscopic exchange of kinetic energy of particles through the boundary between two systems that is called heat conduction and uh, heat convention occurs when bulk flow of a fluid or gas or liquid carries heat along with uh, the flow of matter in the fluid but in some special cases heat is also transferred by radiation such as laser treatments involved in some manufacturing techniques for microsystems there is heat transfer occur in the form of radiation so we 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 can discuss scaling in heat transfer in detail so first scaling of heat flux heat conduction in soil uh, solid is governed by fourier law uh, according to fourier law qx is equal to minus k into do t of x y is a t divided by do x where qx is the heat flux along the x axis and k is the thermal conductivity of the solid and t of x y is a t is the temperature field so rate of heat conduction can be calculated by the equation rate of heat conduction q is equal to small q into a where a is the area so which is equal to minus k into do t of x y is a divided by x y is a t divided by do x can be denoted by delta t divided by delta x so we can write q as minus k into delta t divided by delta x into a for solids in meso scale and micro scale q is proportional to uh, a into uh, minus k into a into delta t divided by delta x is the equation so converting into our scale uh, linear form so we can write it as q is proportional to l square instead of a we can write l square De instead of delta x we can write divided by l other terms are not significant in the case of scaling so q is proportional to l square into l raised to minus 1 which is equal to l raised to 1 this means reduction in size leads to decrease of total heat flow okay next is scaling in sub micrometer regime in sub micrometer regime uh, the thermal conductivity can be calculated as k is equal to k is equal to k mean k is the thermal conductivity k is equal to 1 by 3 into c v lambda where c is the specific heat v is the molecular velocity and lambda is the average mean free path okay which is proportional to l raised to 1 here in the case of sub micrometer regime k is proportional to l raised to 1 thus q is proportional to q is proportional to l raised to 1 into l raised to 1 that is l square here q is proportional to L square that is that means uh, from this equation we know that Q is proportional to L raised to 1 we get Q is proportional to L raised to 1 here we are neglecting K and delta T divided by delta X only considering uh, K and delta T I uh, here we are only considering A and a delta X in the case of uh, meso and micro micro scales but when we are considering sub micrometer regime here here k is proportional to l raised to 1 so we have to write here 
L raised to 1 K for, for K we have to write L raised to 1 and rest of the term we will uh, get L raised to 1 Q is, uh, in the previous discussion we get L raised to 1 as the scaling value so here in in the case of sub micrometer regime Q is proportional to instead of K L raised to 1 and rest a into delta t divided by delta x we write l raised to 1 so l raised to 1 into l raised to 1 that is l square that means a reduction in size of 10 would lead to reduction of total heat flow by 100 which is in the case of scaling in sub micrometer regime next we are discussing scaling in uh, in effect of heat conduction in solids of meso and micro scales a dimensionless number called fourier number f0 is used to determine the time increments in transient heat conduction analysis so the fourier number f0 is alpha t divided by l square here alpha is the uh, thermal diffusivity of the material and t is the time for heat heat to flow across the characteristic length l so here from this equation we can write t is equal to t here t is equal to f naught into l square divided by alpha here f naught and alpha are constants so we uh, only uh, we have to uh, here scaling will affect only the uh, characteristic length L so uh, replacing with our linear value so T is proportional to L square ok next is scaling in heat convention uh, in uh, previous we are discussed about uh, scaling methods in the case of heat conduction next we are going to discuss scaling in heat convention heat transfer in fluid is in the mode of convention according to a law base, uh, based on Newton's cooling law from this law we can write Q is equal to Q is equal to Q means uh, the total heat flow between two plates that is Q is equal to Q into A here Q is the heat flux and A is the area cross-sectional area uh, for the heat to flow from this we can write, uh, write Q A is equal to Q is equal to H into delta T so we can write h a delta t q is equal to h a delta t here h depends on the primarily on the fluid velocity which does not play any significant role in scaling of the heat flow so in this case the heat transfer is entirely uh, depend on the area okay so we can write in uh, meso and micro regimes q is proportional to a that is q is proportional to a so area in our scaling area is corresponds to l square okay so here q is proportional to l square for the cases in which gases pass in narrow channels at sub micro meter scale the classical heat transfer theory is based on the continuum fluid breakdown uh, the seemingly convective heat transfer has in fact become conduction of heat among the gas molecules as the effect of boundary layer becomes a dominant factor here in this figure H is here the height the gap between the two plates uh, the gap h is less than 7 lambda where lambda is equal to 65 nanometer for gases 65 nanometer for gases and 1.3 micrometer for the liquids okay 
so the equation for lambda lambda is proportional to 1 by rho and k is equal to 1 by 3 into c into v lambda we know that we studied this equation and uh, the equation for this v is v is equal to square root of 8 kt divided by pi m here t is the mean temperature of the gas and m is the molecular weight okay molecular weight of the gas so effective heat flux in the case he here the effective heat flux q effective is equal to k into delta t divided by h plus 2 epsilon where delta t is the temperature difference between the two plates and a epsilon depends on the gas entrapped between two plates for uh, two plates uh, 2.4 lambda less than epsilon less than 2.9 lambda but, uh, that means the value of lambda is in between uh, the value of epsilon in between 2.4 lambda and 2.9 lambda for air in the case of oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide, methane and helium, the value is in between, the value of epsilon in between 2.4 lambda and 2.9 lambda. Okay. Uh, next, uh, the value of epsilon is 11.7 lambda uh, with H greater than 7 lambda for hydrogen. That's the end of today's session. Thank you.